How did I end up with over $26,000? It's not so simple. This is a rough spot for Frankie. That is a disciplined fault. Last time I played a live stream, I lost 5k. Six days later, I'm playing another live stream with better professional poker players than I've ever played with in my life. Now, why would I do that? Because I truly want to be the best. I took a call a few days after my live stream loss with German professional Julian Thomas. You only think about the worst case. So that is definitely something you mentally have to train. My friends refused to buy my action because the lineup was so difficult, which made me more nervous. Not to mention, I'd be sitting across from my girlfriend who's a high stakes takes Crusher and knows exactly how I play. How do you feel about playing together today? Don't feel anything. Don't feel anything? Yeah. Okay. You're a professional. Why? I'm a little nervous. Why? Sure. You're a lot of I can feel after the coach you feel excited, right? Yeah. You want to play because you want to play your mistake. The pressure is on and I had to make a decision right away. I wanted to buy him for 5,000, but when I sat down, everyone at the table was super deep. So I do buy him for $10,000. If I buy him for five, I think it just makes us a target right off the bat for being scared. Yeah. Yo, je Yo Viral. Oh, thumbs up, <laughs> thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I had to include this clip because Yo Viral is the most friendly, nice guy. And our second hand dealt, we get into a massive pot against what is probably the best player at the table. I have pocket jacks and I've probably been in the studio for about 10 minutes total, totally not settled in but we have to three bet yo and I make it $600 to go. He snap calls me to 600 and like I said earlier, this game is just very small for him so I expect him to be playing very aggressive as we go to a flop of 10, 3, 4, 2 spades. I bet $800 here protecting my top pair and yo viral immediately goes for a massive raise. At this point, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna rebuy if I lose all my chips and I might be all in on my second hand. I use one of my six time big chips. If you don't know yo viral, he is quite famous for this move right here and on my second hand, I get the signature. This is like my Michael Jordan is sticking out his tongue. I go for the call. 30% of my chips are in the middle already as we go to a turn card. The Ace of Diamonds. And without even opening his eyes, he goes all in. Ah, yeah. I'm at risk for embarrassment. If I call and we lose, I have to go home in two hands. If he has ace 10, I'm drawing to two outs. Do you only think about the worst case? They zoom into Kitty for the ultimate sweat. I make the call. So the stand up game is live. But I'm, yeah, I'm semi bluffing. We made the right decision, but we still have to fade the deck. The mental relief of making the right call and winning the first run out is indescribable. Now we're frilling our way to a $20,000 pod, which is twice the size of anything I've ever played. That's a, chop, that's chop. a great call. Nice. <laughs> so, end of the day, we chop up the hand, but that won't be the only $20,000 plus pot. In the first 10 minutes, Rampage has added on for $50,000. This game is huge. Also, there's a continuous stand-up game on, so if you're the last person to win a hand, you owe $1,200 to the table. $1,200. I normally would 3-bet 9-8 of spades, but now it's mandatory. The next hand is with the Queen Jack offsuit. I would always fold this hand, especially in a shot take, but now I'm putting in a 3-bet, and if you're gonna 3-bet Rampage Poker, you gotta go big. Make it 1400 to go, and we take it down. Rampage charts next hand off with 8-5 of diamonds. I call with the beautiful Jack 9 of hearts, and this is the first hand we're gonna play with Kitty. The flop comes A7, A2 hearts, and Rampage checks to me. What can go wrong? I have a straight flush draw. I bet $600, and Rampage makes the call. The turn comes the eight of clubs. One of the only cards I don't want to see is the board pairing. And now Rampage leads out for $2,000. Well, I don't think he's ever finding a bluff here. So as much as it hurts, I just let it go. That is a disciplined fault. The next hand, I play one of the biggest pots in my entire life while my girlfriend is telling the most vulgar story. Watch this one play out. I'll tell you the story. So one very famous poker star player, he have an eight years girlfriend and his girlfriend, Korea friend, is very good friend with me. So they date him when she was college. But she have a very small boob. <laughs> so she finally go to do her boob bigger. And she told me every time There's no reason. <laughs> 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 That's so in a really big spot here. I'm trying to zone this entire conversation out of my mind. Johnny Vibes has re-raised me. I have Ace Queen of Hearts. And we're both trying to win the stand-up game. I don't know. I still have to use my time chip. I have no idea what to do. I know that she do her bigger. Uh. So after she go back to her friend and have a sex, 
Because she said she never see her face. It's so high. She realized the man lies. Oh, how much I love you. You look great. You don't need to do anything. But when they see the body change, when they have a sex, their reaction just fucking different. So while my girlfriend's talking about fake tits, I'm in the biggest part of my life, trying my best to focus and concentrate. I decided that Ace Queen of Hearts is good enough to put in the middle here, and, and we're going to be in big trouble. Fine. Now, I'm still not sure I'm going to rebuy if I lose this hand, but let's not think about the worst case outcome right now. The first run out comes absolutely no help. The turn gives us some life, just for a chop anyways, and the river breaks out. I'm seriously questioning why I ever put so much of my bankroll on one buy-in. The next flop comes Jack 4 Deuce, hoping for a good turn card. And the four of hearts is definitely one of them. Now we can chop, which gives us a little discount and some chips to keep playing with. I don't want to go home. I really don't. Please. Bang! Running it twice hurt us before, and this time it saves us. We are still in. There's now over a quarter million dollars on the table, and I'm coming for it all. Why do I have the least intimidating smile I've ever seen in my life? Next hand, I have pocket aces and raised to 150. My girlfriend, trying to win the stand-up game, calls me in early position, and then Johnny vibes in the cutoff and re-raises me to $700. We've been battling all night, and now I have some serious ammunition to fight back. I four bet to 2300. If he calls, this will already be one of the biggest pots of my life. But he doesn't call. He raises all in. We're up against Ace King in the biggest pot of my life. A monumental moment. Our girlfriend's impressed. Let me tell you, it feels really good to be in a $21,000 pot as a 93% favorite to win. But it's always a sweat. And the river comes. <laughs> Queen of Diamonds. The second flop is clean, and on the turn we have Johnny drawing dead. My biggest pot I've ever played was around 12,000, and we cleared that by almost 10,000. I'm on cloud nine for all about 10 seconds before I realize I'm playing $20,000 effective, 400 big blinds with some of the best deep stack cash game players in the entire world. And there's still two hours left. The next hand I look down at pocket kings and raise to 150. I don't like playing with good players, but it's nice playing with good players when you have premiums because they like to three bet a lot. Pocky makes it $450 to go, and I have a slam dunk for a bet. 15. A question I normally would like hearing when I have pocket kings, but playing 400 big blinds deep, I don't feel that comfortable against the 5 bet. Let's just cross that bridge when we get there. She just makes the call. I expect to have a lot of ace queen, ace king, mother- Oh, okay. There's two aces. Not the best, not the worst. Don't want to play my hand face up, so I continue with a small bet here. Could we play a $40,000 pot here? Nope, she makes the fold. But the game is about to get huge. Round of straddles? Vamos. The new game is 25, 50, 100, and my girlfriend raises to 300. Johnny Vibes comes in with a 3 bet to 900, and it's on me in the big blind with Ace Queen suited. Getting flashbacks to what happened last time I 4 bet Johnny Vibes. And now I have my girlfriend in the mix. Is it okay just to fold this hand? Absolutely not. We put in a re raise to $3,100. Kitty and Johnny makes the fold. We take down $1,300 of profit, which is normally how much I buy in for. But I'm not just going to sit back and enjoy my biggest win. There's still one more thing I have to do bluff Rampage Poker. Now, you should not try to bluff the guy who's down $50,000. But here I go anyway. Cue the main character becoming a badass in front of your very eyes montage. lost a stand-up game yet, and I'm one of the last three players left. And I have queen four against my girlfriend. I turn bottom pair, but I don't think it's good. I can't show any mercy, especially on this stage. I fire 1,000 over the size of the pot, and I get Kitty to fold a seven, which awards me the pot and saves myself from paying $1,200 to everyone else. This is our moment in our last stand-up game before we book our biggest win. Rampage opens the cutoff, and I defend the big blind with eight six. Flop comes nine jack four. I check, and Rampage checks it back. The turn comes the 10 of clubs. My quick psychological thinking is that Rampage is on tilt, so if he had King Queen, he would have bet the flop. He's trying to get all of his money back, so I take this as a sign that I need to start blasting. Rampage makes the call. The river doesn't help. I don't think I can get a jack to fold, but I have eight high, so I have to bluff, and I go for a size that hopefully gets some nine or 10x to fold. I might get 1500 to go, but he's so tilted he might just call it off. 
It's the fold from Rampage. Nice bluff. I had more action on myself than I ever would have wanted given my bankroll. And I ended the day with 16,250 profit. Before this, my biggest win was 7,500, and we just doubled it. But more importantly, I held my own against some of the best players in the world. Remember, in life, you can't always think about the worst case scenario. Prepare yourself for more, but first, watch another video here. Peace.